My name is Tom Kwasnitschka. I'm a visiting researcher with Ocean Networks Canada this summer. I come from Germany, from the Geomar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research in Kiel, that is in northern Germany by the Baltic Sea. My specialty is volcanology, um, deep sea volcanology, first of all. And I have come here this summer to work on the Endeavour node and everything that's connected to it. The Endeavour segment is really unique, not only because it's so close and we get to go there every year, but it's also very well studied, pretty much over the last 20 years. And now that Ocean Networks Canada is going there every summer, we get to do a time series, look at the changes at the hydrothermal edifices and the life that's connected to these places. And we try to monitor these changes through cutting edge new technology and survey strategies that we develop. So what is it that we actually do down there which makes our work special and new? We survey the seafloor at high resolution and this has been done for 25 years acoustically using sound. We now do it visually, that means we use the cameras that are installed on the diving robots, but we don't just take video, we use those cameras as a scientific piece of equipment, as a scientific measurement device. We record video, but we then ingest it into the computer in a process called photogrammetry and that means taking measurements from photographs. The computer looks at the video and then reconstructs the 3D shape of the seafloor just from that imagery. And that gives us a centimeter or better resolution, high fidelity model, not a map, not a mosaic, but a an actual 3D model of the seafloor that we can then work with, evaluate and explore. So okay, these are new and exciting animations and models, but what's the science? What do they tell us about the ocean floor? One thing is that we can now compare these high resolution models over the years and monitor changes not only in the geology but also in the biology in the way these habitats evolve some die off others develop further so our long-term goal and actually our vision behind all of this is to truly walk on the seafloor right now we are really only ever staring through the tiny porthole of a video camera but we want to expand this up into peripheral vision and to really feel a sense of presence on the seafloor because it's the first step to doing successful science down there. And in order to do that, we've been also working on the back end, not just on producing the data, but we're ingesting these digital seafloor models into a newly built virtual simulator that surrounds us. It fills the space with data for us to explore in the proper spatial context. So as to what's next, well, for one thing, this year has been really exciting. This season I was out on the exploration vessel Nautilus that was chartered in a partnership of Ocean Networks Canada and the Ocean Exploration Trust. And we collected 46 and a half hours of underwater survey down there at Endeavour. We surveyed most of the major hydrothermal sites and this will now serve as a base inventory. It will allow us to create a baseline model of the major hydrothermal sites at Endeavour which we will build on, update and expand over the coming years.